uh, uh. It's 2022 and there's so much to talk about. Walking and talking, it's my specialty. Check out this cool song. My student Alexi DM put out this awesome song. It may be playing below here, I'm not sure yet. It's beautiful. But yeah, he's my guitar student. You know, add it to your playlist. I'll put a link down below. Ooh. Taint warm. It's six degrees right now. I'm sleeping here and I gotta get heat. Two pieces of kindling and four logs. This might be the last video. It feels good to just place my hand directly into the fire because that's how cold it is. I know that it looks pretty, but the difference between like 30 degrees and six degrees is a lot. Really damn cold today. I've been out here for five seconds and I can't believe it's 2022. 2022 and COVID is still a thing. I can't. Now someone's calling me. This always happens. So what I'm doing right now is I'm recording backing tracks for my country guitar cookbook, which is a lesson series all about learning how to play country guitar. It's for beginners and advanced players, everything in between. And so yeah, I gotta knock these out and then onto other stuff. This thermometer is totally screwed up. This is how I get the heat on. I just jam it in there. Look at this squirrel stuff. Look at this, a nut. They're using this bag as a little hotel. This is kind of funny. I went out of town for a couple weeks and I noticed there was just like this rodent poop everywhere. And then I opened this hat and I found a nut inside. Big old nut from a tree. I'm like, dude, there's a mouse or a squirrel or something just like living in my hat. You know, I love animals. I do, I'm an animal lover, but I don't know if these squirrels have like weird squirrel diseases that I don't know about. I don't want to find out. And I'm going to use this to catch squirrels or mice or rats. Walter taught me how. Here's the idea. I'm gonna let these suckers just walk right into the garbage can. I'm not gonna let them out. I need this guy. I'm gonna use this dude as a little ramp. I'm gonna give them easy access. Walter told me that this is gonna work. I take this dog food and all this seed, pour it in the bottom of this big old garbage can, and then cover it with this kind of fake lid thing. And the idea is they can get in, but they can't get back out. Then I'm gonna start training and breeding them. And that's when the money starts rolling in. I grew up with the sounds of chipmunks and squirrels running through my wall, so I'm pretty used to hearing like everywhere. But I was actually recording and I heard, not only can I hear rodents in this little area, but I can feel the draft sometimes. So it's kind of spooky, huh? Just start here. It's like cotton candy. Is this a fire hazard? Cause it's supposed to be insulated, but I think over the years it's gotten eaten away by vermin. And <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I can't let, have my dog be getting sick. Um, I gotta get rid of these guys. I can feel mad wind, and I swear to God, I like see like nuts. The fuck is that? That looks like an alien baby. What is that? <coughs> oh my God. I just put so much insulation in there and it did nothing. Let's go look. Moment of truth. You ready? What? They ate the food and didn't get killed. Does this thing work? What about this giant bucket trap? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten or eleven, yeah. Wow. All right, you're going for a ride, fellas. <laughs> going for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice place. All right, guys. Let's do this. Oh, boy. You're free! Oh shit! And then there's just some really obvious areas. I just never got insulation. That is very satisfying to look at. Perfect. It's to be four by 45. I found this. It's exactly the right size.
seems okay, pretty good. I'm gonna take out this board right here, and then I'm gonna trim all the way around this guy. Oh. Damn, this is the hardest thing I've ever nailed in my life. Well, maybe it ain't the prettiest, but I think it looks a lot better. Look at that. That was tiring. There should not be any mice coming in through here, but I guess anything's possible. It should be warmer, it should be less micey in here. This is a big hole. I'm pretty sure this was like a mouse nest. I put fresh insulation under there, removed all the old stuff, cut a piece of wood just over the top, nailed them down lightly so I can always change this in the future. So right now I'm gonna nail this super duper thin knit wood with these little tiny nails. It should be a little tight. This I can use around all of the outlets to seal them. I need some heat. This cable's busted. I'm gonna try to attach this. That will start a fire. Nice and short enough. Okay, that looks really nice and tight and neat to me. I don't see any stray wires, but I'm going to watch it very closely. Okay, moment of truth. Ah! Current situation. Recording backing tracks for my country tutorial. That's really slow. It's been a marathon recording session. What we got here? This just came in the mail. Bucks Moonlight Revival. They're subscribed to me on YouTube. Woo! Made in Canada. Oh, 15% off all merch. That's pretty cool. Hi, Travis. I hope you like the vinyl. The album took over two years to complete. It was recorded on a Tascam 488 Porta Studio in our living room. Also worth noting that the lyrics were a book of poems written by Katie's grandpa in the 1970s. He died before she was born and wanted a musician to use them as lyrics. That's pretty cool, actually. Enjoy your record, Eric and Katie. So that's really, really nice, and I just wanted to share it. Thanks so much, Eric and Katie.